<laughs> hey what's up everybody hit that subscribe button grab a seat and welcome to our fifth episode of draco music tv where you can watch all of the latest interviews and more from the mississippi gulf coast and surrounding coastal areas the hottest emerging independent music artists hosted today by me leela moore draco music tv aims to shed light on all of the hardest working independent music artists Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Draco Music Productions. Or you can go visit our website at www.dracomusicproductions.com. That's D-R-E-K-O, musicproductions.com. And to stay in the know of all the hottest emerging Mississippi Gulf Coast independent music artists. Now, starting this week off right, we have today my girl Aquafina, a Gulfport, Mississippi independent music artist. Now, we at Drake Our Music Productions and Drake Our Music TV would just like to thank you for having this interview with us today. Most definitely. Thank y'all for having me, for one. All right. All right. Let's get it. Now, I'm sure many of your fans want to know right off the bat, how long have you been making music? Okay. I have been making music, I'll say, since the age of 16. The reason 16, um, that was the first time I ever been in the studio and it opened a lot of doors for me because that was the first time I ever had to experience writing. So mm -hmm. that was a big start. Now, um, who inspired you to make music? Believe it or not, a lot of people expect me to have all these rapper names that mm -hmm. inspired me, but I was an R&B girl. Like, uh -oh. I love singing. So definitely Brandy, Monica. Uh -oh. um, love Mary J. Blige. Love her to That's death. Right. Got chills just saying her name. Um, and for rapping, and like I say, like the new era, Nicki Minaj. Okay, gotta okay. give her props and look him. Definitely. Because okay. she was the, you know, she was the only girl in the crew with a whole bunch of dudes. That's so right. That's right. She held that down. That's right. Okay. Now, how would you describe the music that you create? If you could put it in a genre, what would you put, what box would you put it that in? Hmm. If I could put my music in a genre box i definitely feel like i have the slight of dance music with the slight of soul meaning that i do music to make people happy you know what i'm saying right, we all go music. through our down times but we don't need to be reminded of our down times right. we need to embrace the good times. so i definitely feel like my music is that you know you gotta be a it's a reminder that's right okay now what is your creative process like? Um, like, where does your lyrical content come from? Whenever you sit down, you write a song, how does that get the flowing on paper? I definitely, for one, I have to have the, the instrument going. Like, I look okay. for an instrument that's different. I am different. I like weird stuff. Mm -hmm. So the weirder it is, the more I love it. Okay. And it just makes my thoughts just come because... The beat, you got, you could feel it. You know what I'm saying. And each lyric speaks for itself. And mm -hmm. I feel like each lyric actually is me talking to the crowd. That's right. That's why I get my lyrics from. Mm -hmm. I'm explaining myself. Listen. Right. Here we go. Here's my yeah. story. Right. So that's where it comes okay. from. Okay. All right. So let's talk about your next project. Okay. Yes. What's the name of the project that you're currently working on right now? Tell the fans about that one. Um, the one that I'm working on right now is I got two of them, but the main one that I'm really working on, um, I really don't have a name for that yet. I was okay. weird because I'm the type of person how I come with my names. I do I write the song, I record the song, I listen to it, and the yeah. name come to me. Okay. I do not like naming my songs on the first rip. It's like yeah, you kind of gotta get that out there. I got a birthday, yeah, you, you know yeah. what I'm saying? One is born, I can give it a name. <laughs> Yeah, it's a birthday process. Okay, okay. All right, now, um, well, we're waiting on that next song to drop. Most Whenever it definitely. does drop, you guys can find Aquafina. She'll be on Apple, Spotify, just about everywhere. You guys go and check her out and look her up. Now, next question. Who would you most like to collaborate with, signed or independent? Um, You know what? No, no clout or no hype behind this when I say this, but Gorilla, Gorilla, mm -hmm. I like her. The reason I like her, I felt her. She's from the street. She's from the bottom. You feel me? Okay. And I can respect that. Okay. Now, industry-wise, Nikki, I love you. 
I love you to death. I love to do a song with Cardi. Reason being this, I feel her. You know what I'm saying? She came from the bottom. Didn't nobody hand her nothing. You know, she she hustled her way up. Regardless of her hustle, what she did, she did it. You feel what I'm saying? She didn't she didn't ask nobody for help. So stuff like that really sticks out to me. So I'm I'm a big on female empowerment. So definitely them too. Shout out to Nikki and Cardi and uh what's her name? Gorilla, Gorilla, I guess. I guess okay, it's her okay. name. Respect to her. Okay. Now, if you could open a show for any artist, who would you like to open for? Nikki. Like, it's no, like, I just love her. You have to give her her flowers That's with a right. lot of stuff. Like, she could drop a song today or tomorrow, and that, that and bitch gonna go million too. views overnight. That's right. And she's anything she touch. That. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Now, next question. What is one message that you would give to your fans? That hard works pay off. That just because you feel like don't nobody believe in your goal or your dream, it's okay. It's cool. Just as long as you believe in it mm-hmm. and you keep striving for it. You feel That's what right. I'm saying? Just because it get hard, don't just throw the rag in. Pick that towel right. up, dust yourself off, and keep going. That's right. And it's supposed to be hard. A lot of people think that getting to success climbing that ladder is supposed to be easy but if it's easy it's sleazy yes my you dad know? been taught me that it was mm-hmm. like anything that come easy it's, it's, it's something that's behind right. it that's right it's got to be hard work yes. consistency and it's going to take time to get yes. there you know uh, my husband was just watching this interview with jc he was what 36 when he actually broke through right you know what i'm saying but he started way before that right so i mean everybody got a breaking point and you just right. got to be consistent with it no matter what's going on in your life exactly. you just got to be consistent because you know like one day my break is coming exactly right. especially right. if you're passionate about it believe it or not mm-hmm. people who's passionate about yeah. music they don't look for when i'm being accepted they don't really care for being accepted they just doing it because they have love for it you know what i'm saying and then when they when they show up at your door it's like you you ain't even it's already it's because it's (laughs) like it's it was been it was there for you you i'm saying it was just a matter of time that's right that's right now my next question is what would you be doing right now if it wasn't for your music career because i know you got other talents cooking i'm gonna be honest with you if it wasn't for my music I don't think I'll be the mother who I am today. Mm-hmm. I don't think I'll be in this room, in this free world. Like, that's just that's being right. honest. Like, I wouldn't be the person who I am today. I'll probably be behind bars doing real hard time. Yeah, because, so music is like your kind of, it's an escape. Yes. Kind of gets you in the mood where you can have a peace of mind. And it does yes. that for a lot of musicians. That's kind of like their only, you know, area that they can feel, you know. Yes. A lot. It, you know, it, it saved live. me. It really did. Yeah. It saved me because okay. Okay. it saved. Now, uh, my next question is, uh, where have you performed? What is your favorite and least favorite venue? And do you have any upcoming shows? Okay. Um, I have been performing a lot of places. Mississippi. Um, I have performed in Atlanta at the Indy Fest. Mm-hmm. I have performed at a couple clubs down there. Um, strip clubs down there. Two, two. Um, Mobile. I've been to New Orleans. Um, those are a couple places I have been that performed. I don't have any particular no lease event that I went to because I, mm-hmm. I see every event That's a chance to be with my people who support me. So it's like I don't look at it like, oh, it wasn't that fun because they want that many people. No, I don't care how many people it is. The people who came to support me, I'm just glad that y'all came and let's turn right. it. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So. Right. Every event was successful. That's right. um, and you said a couple places I'm going to be performing? Yeah, any upcoming shows that you have? Um, I don't have any upcoming shows up right now. My main goal right now is to drop that single that I've been having my supporters waiting for, mm-hmm. get my business side together so I definitely can be that person that they know I can be and I know I can be. So i really just been getting my ducks in a row, as they say. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Um, next question. Now, how do you feel about the internet, um, with the pros and the cons? Do you think that it's affected the music business in a negative or positive way? I think anything in life has pros and cons. 
I feel like the positive way about it is more people are able to show their music on different platforms that didn't have that opportunity before. Mm -hmm. The bad side about it is everybody have this image of what a female artist should look like or so an image of what a, a male image, a male artist should look like, a rapper right. should look like. You feel what I'm saying? They feel like... They can just put you in this box. Yes, put you in this box. And I feel like everybody is different and unique in their own That's different right. way. And by that being said is they can tell a different story. You know, mm -hmm. like, everybody ain't going to have that small waist and big butt. You feel what I'm saying? That, that like, let's just be real, and, baby. And everybody ain't got a face. At that part, you know what I'm saying? All all these artists that's male, all of them don't like the gold in their mouth, the chains yeah. and all that flashy stuff. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them very humble. Yep. But because they don't have that, they feel like, oh, they not serious or oh, they right. not, you're not getting nowhere in the right. music industry. And I just feel like that just, that's so excuse true. my language, bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight Speak up freely. bullshit. Speak freely. So. Yeah, you absolutely right. Um, That's why I always tell artists to embrace who you are yes. because you never know somebody looking at you and might want that you know what you doing exactly so you don't have to put yourself in this box that the world will put you in exactly. to say that this is what you got to do and no. this is how you got to look you got to be yourself you create your own style your own art and put it out there exactly. and don't care what nobody say exactly of course. exactly right now what is one of your favorite songs that you like to perform the most my favorite song I like to perform is Yeah Ho. Okay, okay. Simply is because in the most humblest way possible, I'm saying Yeah Ho. <laughs> <laughs> Good so we all got to have that spark in ourselves and that motive by ourselves and tell ourselves we're that bitch. That part. Regardless of the next person thinking it, regardless of how they feeling, Yeah Ho, I'm that person. That part. You know? Okay, okay. You guys heard that. Now, my next question is, Top five best female MCs. Go. Starting from the top. We already know Nikki at the top. Number one, Nicki Minaj. Straight down because cause she jump on any genre and kill the shit. So just right. admit to it. Number two, got to give it to Lil' Kim. Like I said, because she was the only female in the group of males. And she That's dominated right. that shit. She held that shit down for, before Nikki came. So That's let's just right. be real. That's right. Number three, I have to give it to... Queen Latifah. All right. Reason That's why Queen legend. Latifah? Because she didn't let the industry change her body. That's right. She didn't let them change her. She yep. was her, period. Take me yep. or leave me. That's so I respect right. her confidence in that. Number four, I have to give it to Cardi B. Okay. Reason is, came from the bottom. You, 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 you know, you went from the strip club to now you on the billboards. That's right. You clamming, bitch. You clamming in, right. in many ways. So... And number five, uh, let me see. This one just got to give it to a good one. Uh, I think I have to say Foxy Brown. All right. Reason being is she was dark-skinned. She didn't Man, let them change right her. That. She was a beautiful dark-skinned yep. lady. And still I, is. Yes, yeah, still, still is. is. Baby, black don't crack. They just straight with it. Okay. <laughs> so that's just real. So I gotta give it Foxy Brown. Don't get me wrong, her rap game was it was it was ill. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't right. um I wasn't around her music a lot because it was before my time, but yeah. just looking back on it on now is you gotta give her, her flowers. She held that down. Right. That's right. Shout out to all those queens of hip hop. Yes. Nikki, Lil' Kim, Queen Latifah, Cardi B, and Foxy Brown. Gotta give it to her. Right now. Let's question now. What is the best advice that you yourself have ever been given? To never give up. That's right. The best advice that my dad could have ever gave me. That's right. Never give up. Okay. Now, um, if you could change anything about the industry, if the ball was in your court and you had the power to change some stuff with the industry, what would it be? I would definitely say I would do more as like how things was back in the older time. You know how like you'd have these showcases where different A and R's or people mm -hmm. come and look at these showcases and they actually believed in these people. Right, and they took you know, chances and took chance that's what that's what I'm getting to. Take took chances mm -hmm. on people. But 
during that time, again, you know, things happen. I guess they've been messed over a couple of times, so I can understand that. You know, that's in the yeah. free where you get messed over a couple of times by a family member. You know not to mess with them a certain yes, way. Right. So I can understand that, but I just wish that would be a chance. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like now is you ain't got the moolah. Yeah, and it's you, like, you're not getting and, and really I, I nowhere. Think you're it's not, not giving a fair shot to the indie yes. artists because now the way the labels and yes. they look at it, they want you to have those million followers. Yes, the million you gotta, followers. You gotta look at those people that don't have but no followers that they better than that, people that's that stuff, got followers. They have to understand, like, that took time and yeah. that took a lot of investment behind that that's person. Right. You feel what I'm saying? And a person. They just be real person coming from the bottom, you know what I'm saying? They can right. like I get I hear it all the time. They had talent, but but what? What was it then? I thought talent was what the main thing was. You can have but talent. It's like but, that. You don't even have to be talented now. No, and that's the sad thing about it. Mm-hmm. That is the sad thing about it, is like the talent, the they sucking the talent out of the passion. Right. I feel like talent is passion. That's what that come from. Talent that's is right. passion. You have to have a passion and, for And honestly, talented. some of those views can be both. Yeah, hey, that. that's today now. You know what I'm saying? It's all about how many views can you get on it is, there regardless. It's crazy. Regardless. People, people doing the absolute dumbest things to get views now. Yes, and, and that's I'm the like, sad thing that's about crazy. it. That's crazy. But it don't last long, though. That's you know, the sad like thing now about the, it. the time frame for when you do something, it's like two weeks it starts fading out. Yes. So you got to consistently every yes. two weeks try to do something. And a lot of people, they're not even being they self. They you not, feel what I'm saying? They, they That's what makes it so hard for them to they keep that, that going because you wasn't yourself to begin with. So now that's you're right. figuring out, like, what should I do next to be this person? You know? Right. Right. If Instead you of just being yourself. Exactly. Yep. Let it be. Right. What is it, the word I'm looking for? Natural or? But, you know, people like artificial these days. <laughs> you know you're right about that. I mean, look at the like yeah. artificial these days. Right, yeah. like you got to be natural sometimes. Yes. Like, okay, all right. Now, uh, my next question is tell your fans something that they don't know about you. Something that they don't know about me. Um, y'all probably don't know. I took choir. Okay. I do sing. Um, am I the best singer? Mm, now, did you probably. start out in church? Most of all of us did. You know what? I didn't start in the church choir. I was shy. But, you know, really? I was that girl. I wasn't there singing in front of the people, but I was in the, the stands yeah, or in the yeah. seat up clapping. Okay. I was singing, like, definitely. Knew all the church songs. Went home, performed for my parents. That's they were right. my main audience. Like, me and my sisters, we stayed performing for our parents. Like, they was the okay. first people. Well, that's where it starts at yes. home. Of course, everybody know that's how a lot of musicians start. It starts with your family <laughs> and friends, yes. um, and eventually comes into a bigger mass where yes. you got a big audience. But um, my next question is: before we get ready to wrap this up, now what's Definitely. next for you? Well, what's next for me? I'm finna. I'm speaking all this into existence. I'm going back to Amen. school. Um, a lot of y'all don't know. I didn't finish high school for my reasons. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to explain that during another interview. Um, I didn't finish school, so I definitely want to go back to school to show my kids, my eight-year-old and my four-year-old, finish school. Regardless, I want to go to college, get my business degree, entrepreneur, um, and I want to take this music as far as possible. I want to do just more than music. As soon as I get there, I want to get back to my community. I want to build houses for my my people who's less fortunate right. you know what i'm saying right. and not not take from my people but help my people build up because we gotta be, help each other we gotta stick together that's so right. i definitely see myself becoming successful in my music and giving back to my people that's right that's right now um you guys you can also find aquafina on facebook is with your main page um main page on facebook is aquafina Different. Only thing different, I got two eyes instead of one. Aquafina. You gotta put that emphasis on Aquafina. Yes, make part. sure you say okay, it. Okay, okay. <laughs> now, before we close out, you can go ahead and give a shout out to family, friends, sponsors, and affiliates, your team behind the scenes. Most definitely. First thing first, let me shout out. <laughs> Love the done. What's good? Um, also the new team that I'm hopefully be working with is CMP. Definitely excited about that. And shout out to my mom. You know I love you. And RP to my mother. Already. 
All right, all right. Um, thank you all for watching this week's episode, Interview with Aquafina. Please stay tuned for next week's episode, Interview with another one of the Mississippi Gulf Coast Emerging Independent Music Artists. Um, you can also find us, again, I said on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, or you can go to our website, www.drakeofreachproductions.com. Thanks again for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and leave a comment and tell us what you thought about today's show. Um, we want to give a special thanks to all of our affiliates and sponsors. Shout out to Vinny Beats, Afton Shows, Track Team Entertainment Company, and all those supporting Drake Our Music TV, Drake Our Music Productions, and Truth Music Entertainment. Thank you, and we are out. Thank you.